Hello everyone, my name is Trittany Miller and I'm the reader here at the Crown and Castle Collective where we're all kings and queens of our own kingdom that we call life. Where we're all the rulers of our own kingdom that we call life. So this is an interesting, really in-depth, actually quite quite in-depth. There's a lot of cards that are already pulled here and prepared for each of the collectives regarding what kind of family or ancestral curses may you have or like just what kind of family predispositions do you maybe have that you're, you're facing in this lifetime and it's, it's your job to really cut the cords and cut the ties with these family traits and perspectives. Maybe what um, characteristics you may have throughout your personal development in your lifetime or even the family members that you have so yeah it's just all of that kind of stuff a lot of akashic records and just all those deep soul connections <laughs> and contracts soul contracts i'm really excited for this reading i do have a lot of new decks that i will be using and also there are four collectives so all the timestamps are down below in the comments if those numbers speak louder to you than the options we have collective number one which has a family tree like a celtic family tree necklace this necklace has seen a lot of days um <laughs> i've worn this way out collective number two you have this wooden bracelet collective number three you guys have the garnet bracelet deep red mahogany kind of feel i mean that one's wood but not mahogany collective number four you guys have this little cream jasper hawk he stands Oop. all right all of those timestamps are down below in the comments all of the goodies are in the description box though I do have a sale going on for personalized readings for the new year, so go ahead and check that out and let's get into it. Collective number one. Uh, let's put these. Collective number one, this is your reading. We're actually going to take a look at what kind of ancestral curses or family past energies are you kind of still bound to. Sorry, I'm just kind of focusing on how I want to lay these cards out. Um, okay, so we're going to take a look at what kind of family energies you may be predispositioned to, something that you might notice within your own self or family members, that it might be your job to kind of step in and intervene with those energies continuing. We are going to take a look at that and then also what you can do to clear those energies and really fix, fix it up. And if you guys haven't and you feel like I'm resonating with you as a, re as a reader throughout the video, you can like the video or subscribe to actually see what videos I post next and vote on those. So thank you for everyone who has voted. This is top number one. So let's start with the first few Oracle decks. We have number 43, Harvest. As the waves of the oceans are infinite, as the trees in the forest grow tall, let my work now bring me to harvest. I'm ready to receive my all. So you guys could have a little bit of a hard time with, you know, receiving, so to see, so to speak. Um, you could let people kind of overuse you or just harvest you and take advantage of you. 43 adds up to 7, so this could be something that I feel like you guys have already experienced throughout life as well. And then we have Advocate, and it came up in reverse, so it's the shadow attributes. Embracing negative causes or committing to cause for personal gain. So, I feel like you're, you could have family members that are like a little bit selfish, 
that like they really only do things for their own benefit or for their own harvest, their own uh, benefit. Reap what you sow. We also have the Sun card. So this is again with the Advocate in the reverse. The Advocate is someone who actually like you know stands up for a meaning or stands up for a cause is kind of like a head speaker kind of energy but in the reverse can be someone who's actually quite manipulating and with the sun card the sun is about you know how we openly express ourselves what we show as kind of like our rising sign so to speak it's what i'm getting here as far as kind of being in the spotlight and just being really self-centered we also have the Eight of Pentacles, Exploration. And then the two tarot cards we're going to start out with are the King of Cups and the Lovers card. Hmm, interesting. So, let's see. I have the Kills in the Rip. Um, so I feel like for family members, they could be quite controlling, I feel like, with their partners. Maybe you were on a really strict schedule as uh, a child growing up in this household. Maybe your parents were very strict, or maybe their parents were also, like your grandparents were strict. It looks like with the eight of pentacles the exploration i feel like this is something that wasn't really encouraged i feel like someone kind of kept a close grip on the family members or on like the loved ones we also have the king of cups out here which is a very contained king of cups and a very aggressive king of cups at that so i feel like the King of Cups in this deck feels like someone who actually gets taken advantage of quite often. And we would think the King or like the father figure to be, you know, the most predominant or like foundation of a household, the masculine energy. But I feel like whatever feminine energy might have been in this, this scenario tends to be quite aggressive. And we also had clarifying that the number six, the lover's card. Um, so it can be hard for you to set, not necessarily boundaries in your relationship, but it may be hard for you to just not come across as too controlling. Um, and also, I feel like this, this whole, these two cards are out here on their own. I feel like this is someone else that you might view your other families as quite selfish for some reason. There is kind of like a narcissistic controlling energy. Um, maybe you know of someone that was just like this in your family. I don't know. It is quite, quite dynamic. And then this is what you can do to heal these family curses or these family energies. Um, as far as, some of you, which is a really weird message also, um, this is only for like a small, small, small part of you. I feel like some of you guys could be in like prearranged, like, relationships, or like someone that like maybe your family set you up with, or family arrangements or someone that you have been with a while that you feel like you really just can't quite escape from you know it's someone that you may constantly return to and you could feel like you know maybe your family wouldn't be open to you seeing new people so like you can view them as quite selfish as in like they're kind of you know not really taking your feelings and your emotions into consideration and that dynamic can play out no matter you know whether you're in a pre pre-arrangement or not or just you know really close family friends with those who you have the lover's card with <laughs> so we're also going to take a look into what you can do to heal these energies the first card that we have is number 28 knowledge let me connect above and below let the knowledge of ancestors flow this is a card about nature also going into libraries you know tapping into that knowledge aspect 
Um, this also talks about, so knowledge, I be, believe the root word for knowledge is gnosis, like G-N-O-S-I-S. -S. Uh, this is a new deck, so of course I have started to read some of these, but I haven't gone through all of them. This one I do know for sure, though. I love, love this card. And it does talk about Thursdays. Thursdays could be auspicious for you as well. And it also talks about um, connecting to nature, of course, in trees. So, like, if you do go and sit outside and, like, sit next to a tree and tap into that sacred knowledge. Because um, it looks like... Okay, whoa, I didn't even look at these next two cards yet. They all are very... They all mention spirits. So, we have knowledge and then we have angelite spiritual or religious community i feel like your family might be very religious as well maybe for some of you you wow maybe for some of you i'm getting you want to even like leave or like divorce your partner that might not like be socially okay in your in your community and that could be like something that you feel is a family curse is that you're kind of put under pressure to you know only go and say where you're told and how you're told and you don't really have much much freedom and I feel like that's just coming from like really controlling family members or you know whatever but with the knowledge card it does talk about searching for those answers in I believe like this is like long long term it reminds me of another card in this deck I'll kind of move on and come back into it so this spiritual religious community join with like-minded people for friendship and increase spiritual growth. So a lot of you guys could feel like maybe uh, your family curses too. A lot of you could feel like maybe your actual family members don't like you either. Or maybe you're just worried about that. But I would say reach out to them, especially if you guys are like indifferent. I feel like you guys might have a lot more in common than what you think. And we have spirit into matter, trillium. So... I would say, I mean, you guys all essentially are gems from the same family root. So for some of you, if you have rough connections with your family members, I would definitely recommend reaching out to them. And I feel like there can be some kind of resolution. For some of you, I feel like your family curse has to do something with your relationships that you decide to get into romantically. Maybe you are drawn to, um, <laughs> maybe you're drawn to partners who kind of, you know, set the tone for you. And if that's not really your vibe, then maybe you feel like you just end up in really controlling relationships. Or maybe you would like to have the control in the relationship. And that could be a really um, difficult power dynamic for you or to come off stronger without being like a pushover. So I hope that resonated with you guys. Um, it was a very, I feel like that's a small percentage of some of you. But if it did, please let me know in the comments. Give the video a like. And if you subscribe, you can actually vote to see on what videos I post next, as this one was top voted as well, which is really cool. So thank you guys. I'll see you next time. Hello, collective number two. If you guys chose the wooden bracelet, this one is your pile. Thank you for joining me. If you feel like this video resonates anywhere between the start and the finish, go ahead and give the video a like. Let me know in the comments what really connects with you. And also, don't forget to subscribe to be able to vote on what videos I post next. This one was actually top voted, so I'm really happy to be getting into this energy. All right, and I do have a New Year's sale on personal readings as well. If you haven't heard that, um, go ahead and check out the description box. All of the information is on there. So let's go ahead and get started. Collective number two, what kind of family and ancestral, <laughs> ancestral energies are you meant to break in this lifetime? The first card that we have is number 34, Strength. It says strength, stability in this hour, endurance, stamina, I am power. It's kind of cheesy, I feel like, when these ones rhyme. But of course, the actual books, the book definition for these cards has the whole chant and spell instructions. Highly recommend it. Um, so 34 adds up to a 7. So I feel like 
Um, you guys have really probably grown into this energy or have already had experiences with this familial energy. Um, as far as strength, you know, you know, being a family curse, maybe you, maybe you guys, uh, wow. Okay. So I definitely had to flip that first card because, you know, strength, I feel like for some of you, you could be a little bit more sedentary. Maybe you're just, you know, physical activities, not really your jig. You know, maybe you would rather just lounge around. I totally don't judge. I personally am very, very active and I have fire in my chart. So that makes a lot of sense. But the strength card being, I mean, as far as a family curse, you know, if it starts to impede on your health and your lifestyle, this could be, of course, that family curse that you're experiencing and working through. So the next card that came out with the strength card, we have the addict. So this is the archetype of an addict. Um, this word can be trigger, trigger, bleh, triggering. I suppose for some people, I know some people who would probably be triggered by this word, but that's okay. It's just a lot of emotions. And I feel like for those of you who are dealing with family curses, it is very, very overwhelming for you. I can only imagine, um, especially with the strength card being along here. You guys have been fighting with this for quite some time. Maybe you have family members who have struggled with addiction, or maybe you yourself could be struggling making it through day by day definitely reach out for help you know i can provide hotline numbers <laughs> but as far as what family curses i feel like this could be something you know that i feel like not just one of you i feel like there could be multiple family members that maybe you've seen express these kinds of um, unhealthy coping mechanisms and the light attribute says helps you recognize and confront addictive behavior. So you guys could really be trying to be that push against the wave that could have swallowed a couple other of your family members or you've just as, at least seen them portray some addictive type of behavior. Or I feel like it's not even like, I feel like with addiction, I feel like it could also be like impulsiveness, you know? Or anything like that because some you're like addicted to like r keep doing something or it's just something that's kind of like a fidget as well because i feel like strong people i feel like uh people are really jittery people who always want to work out always want to go 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 and express that strength they could be <laughs> addicted to twitching i don't know um <laughs> but we also have neptune out here ruling the water signs of Pisces which is another very addictive sign Neptune's very deep very flowing some people could have again the strength card's even blue in this deck there could be alcohol addiction unfortunately there could be smoking and there could be whatever kind of substance overuse whether that's eating too much bread or eating too much candy and doing something to an access 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 with an e too much all right we also have the 11 of earth or the page of pentacles technically this one's cube look so quite interesting enough the page of pentacles is a very <laughs> traditionally it's the slowest card in the deck the page of pentacles or no the knight is wow but i was picking this up as page energy so i feel like you guys could be a little bit younger in your family or oh. i'm getting some of you are younger souls than your family member okay some of you guys are younger souls than those family members that you might see these traits heavy heavily in and it's ironic because um, their souls might be like older than you, but yet they're still struggling with this or vice versa. I feel like if you guys are younger than your family members, what? That makes no sense. There's some weird age gap going on. Uh, but a lot of you guys, I feel like you guys are tackling this family 
curse. I feel like you guys are already like overcoming it. That's why I'm just getting so flip-flopped is because I feel like you guys have recognized it so early because of how blatant it is and how obvious it's just painting some kind of like addiction and with Neptune out here being water with the strength card. It's a, it's a hard fight. It's a hard battle. I feel like unfortunately some of you may have lost someone along this way, whether that's permanently or they're just never the same person again, which can be quite sad. And we also have the moon card again more water sign energies cancer um could also indicate again more toxicity more addiction unhealthy coping mechanisms coping mechanisms and also i mean there's a bell here too which i kind of get as like a the bell swinging back and forth like there, there's good weeks and there's bad weeks i feel like um, it's again a really strong battle and you might notice that you yourself have addictive tendis tendencies um, no matter how minimal or how big and you know every day might be a battle for you and it's it might be really hard for you to look at how this has affected your family. And we also have the eight of swords. <clears throat> so a very captive energy. Yes, it's just, I don't, the moon is all about cycles, okay? We go from full moon to new moon, and then we do the same thing over and over and over again. The eight of swords kind of rep represents that same message. Um, eight is an infinity, and the swords is kind of, you know, about that action as far as our thoughts and returning to those and reviewing them, trying to do whatever we can to escape that and come to an ultimatum or an ultimate truth. But I feel like... They're still running through that process. There's some high numbers in here with this number 11 or this page energy getting much, much closer to that king status of completion. We also had, you know, the moon out here, major arcana. So I feel like you guys are really in the thick of it. It could be really, you know, there could be heavy addictions or I, I just feel like, you know, if any kind of bad stuff like that, it might be really prominent in your family. And I feel like it's been going on for quite some generations and it's become so clearly outlined that it could be really easy for you guys to distinguish yourself from these energies, which we're going to take a look into what you can do to help break the bonds of this dreadful energy. All right, we have 42 organization. Purpose, planning, efficiency now come to me so easily. So this is one of the new decks that I got along with this tarot deck. Um, multiple decks here. Um, but this card, obviously, structure in life, organization in life. Uh, some of your guys' family members could be really messy as well. They could... <laughs> um, they could just not be very organized, okay? And I feel like they have a lot more going on on their plate. So that might be really good for you to have that. I feel like some of you grew up with siblings, so that could have really taught you some structure, some routine, some foundations in life that don't have you result to um, these crutches or addictions. Now, um, maybe you relied more on your your siblings and your relationships rather than the substance. And I feel like the substance could be anything in the 3D that's just kind of used as a crutch for any kind of coping mechanism with feeling and emotions and day-to-day -day life. I don't know about you, but at the end of the day, I too would probably like to smoke a joint to cope with the day. But there's a fine line between, you know, coping and unwinding. <laughs> okay, so we're going to look at the rest of the cards as far as what you can do to help break the bonds of this family curse with the organization also there um there's a, a book that comes with this deck blah and the book actually gives you the whole spell work that you can do to channel this energy and it does talk about pomegranates and i also believe or no <laughs> that's that's not this one this one talks about i had it here this one talks about erratic behavior. Of course, organization helps tame that, and I feel like erratic behavior can lead to unhealthy coping mechanisms or addictions and crutches. 
also talks about writing. For some of you, you could be really good at writing. You could be really good creative individuals because there is so much water energy out here. Um, it doesn't necessarily pertain to alcoholism, but also just to fantasy and kind of, I mean, with Neptune out here, it definitely is about that illusion. Um, mm, we also had Tanzanite. Ready to love again. You've healed from the past enough to open your heart to new love. So, I, again, I feel like it's so prominent. You guys have known about this over time. And you guys have already grown up to maybe break. Hello, collective number three. This is your reading. If you chose the garnet bracelet, thank you for joining me. Don't forget to check out the description box. I do have my New Year's sale going on for the end of 2020 if you're watching this when it has been posted. So all of that's down in the description box. If you feel like I resonate with you anywhere throughout the reading, please give the video a like or subscribe to vote on what videos I post next. This video was top voted, so I'm happy to deliver. Collective number three, what ancestral energies or curses are you meant to break in this lifetime all right ooh. so the first card that we have is 40 psychic protection it says around me now a shield of gold protect me strong and bold i always feel like these are cheesy um this is a spell spell deck so there's actually full spells in the definition book but we have psychic protection, so a lot of you, your family curse might be, you know, your strongest ally is your own intuition, your psychic abilities. Maybe you had uh, family members before you or around you that maybe just really suppressed these abilities. They did not want, or I shouldn't say that they didn't want them to grow, but they did not allow them to grow. We'll take a look into the next energies. We also have Hedonist. The light attributes inspires creative energy to embrace the good things in life. Sorry, the coffee. Celebrates the beauty in yourself. The shadow attributes it pursues pleasure to the detriment of health, indulges at the expense of others. Oh, sorry, I'm like ironically burping as I'm trying to read this card about food Ooh. so whoa there's some really hard messages coming through here already um y'all's relationship with food might be something that's going on in your family line i feel like that could have a lot to do with um just anything that you indulge with so okay this can mean several things this can mean our physical body or our mental body as far as the psychic protection and the hedonist hedonist talks about indulging too much at the expense of others but i mean okay so with your relationship of food i feel like you guys could be really worried about how you look or your body you could have body dysmorphia as far as like how you view yourself or what you view to be perfection i don't know that's kind of weird um you guys could just be really harsh on your self-image you could have family members that were really particular about the way that you, they presented you, you know, as their child or as their family member growing up. And that could have uh, really limited you to how you felt like you were perceived. Um, so maybe you feel like you have to look or act a certain way. And again, for some of you, I feel like there was, there's some kind of relationship with food and the psychic protection that maybe family members have also experienced but i feel like okay that was the mind body message that was coming through sorry it was a little bit rough there is really overwhelming we also have aquarius which is an air sign it's not sign specific um, but this always does remind me of water as well so air and water energies i feel like a lot of this is pertaining to mother or female energies we also have the seven of wands desire mm. there's see again there's something about like i feel like the <laughs> some of you in your family 
um, might always lust over things that you can't have or maybe you feel like you lust over things that you can't have or maybe you really restrict yourself too I feel like um, there is a little bit of restriction because I feel like you might you may hold yourself back because you actually know better, but I feel like your family curses might be of uh, people who just, of course, overindulging. And then with Aquarius, um, family members could have smoking addictions, there could be nicotine addictions, or just any kind of overindulgence um, to the detriment of health is literally what the card says. And with Aquarius uh, being an air sign, I feel like they are very... Um, not, I don't want to say aloof, but I feel like Aquarius and Pisces are both known to kind of fall into those addictive traps. I mean, every sign has its own weakness, I feel like, to addiction, but I feel like it's just very typical in those signs. As far as Aquarius being air sign and, you know, smoke. <laughs> also with this desire card, it, it's literally a cloud. But I feel like some of, some of your family curses or, you know, family energies that you're meant to break uh, might be the fact that I feel like some someone can never fulfill their desire someone always wants more someone's always looking for more and reaching for more whether that's in life or in substance I feel like you guys I mean hopefully this is the energy that we'll see develop for you as far as how you decide to fill and reach and chase after that desire we also have the nine of pentacles and we also have the star card. This is kind of reminding me of collective number one, um, which is somewhat along the same lines. Okay. With this nine of pentacles, the nine of pentacles is a very self-sustained, <laughs> literally, I mean, he's in a bubble, but traditionally, I feel like it's a very independent, very knowledgeable, bright individual. So I feel like your family members, I feel like if a lot of them, they were good people at heart, but I feel like they just might fall, fall victim to curiosity, like curiosity killed the cat almost. Um, I don't know if that's quite a bad thing or a family curse. Um, you might view this, I mean, there might be a negative way to view this as far as, you know, just someone who pines for more and more and doesn't know how to be self-fulfilled and just show gratitude for what they do have. And we also have number 17, the star card, which is, again, that gratitude really reaching to the stars and seeing the beauty of just the small details or being thankful for what you have with that nine of pentacles, what you've created for yourself. Um, they could always want what other people have. So this could be jealousy, could be a thing amongst your family members, very much so. There could be fights for attention or competition with, between siblings or any kind of family member. Um, I mean, there could be, like, unfaithful spouses as well. I mean, what is it? Adultery or whatever? I mean, I, I don't know if that's hereditary. But, like, it could be something that's, like, common in the family, I guess. This is what you can do to work with these energies to help heal these negative vibrational family energies so it's telling me i haven't even looked at this card yet there's still something trying to come through with these um it did kind of bring me back to pile number one the first card there is something about this bubble here being cut off or restricted but he's actually being studied on i feel like The family has a really hard time, your family members, or, you know, uh, I guess your family members, they could have a hard time relating to other people as well. I feel like it's hard for them to put themselves in other people's shoes um, because they're always concerned about maybe what that person's perception is of them. I don't know. All right, we'll move on. This is what you can do to break these chains. And we have number 38, divine guidance. So... For divine guidance and psychic protection to come out of here is pretty wild as far as being highly aware and intuitive about these negative energies. And with Aquarius being super intuitive too, it's really quite interesting. With what you can do to improve or break these energies, the divine guidance card does talk about 
this new deck has spells that you can actually do and it actually goes into details on the book of what you can do. In this spell, the Divine Guidance spell calls for a lot of household items that you would think for like cleaning and sweeping, feathers and seashells, stone, wood, so like all of the elements. For some reason when I, when I first got this card, uh, there's something, there's, for some of you, I feel like the small part of you, there could be, again, there's a lot of feminine energies playing out here. It doesn't mean that there can't be any males who struggle with self-identification or the way that they see their body and the way that they pine for energies. <laughs> but anyways, the, this card reminded me of someone's grandma. So if you guys have a grandma that does, um, like witchcraft, <laughs> or if you have a grandma that or there's just like someone older or there's a female that you guys might know that does what is the word i don't know why i keep getting spanish words in my videos there must be a small percentage brujeria 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 <laughs> brujeria brujeria it's witchcraft right in spanish but i read the spell for this book and for some reason it like all i could picture was you know, you little, little Hispanic or little, you know, like grandma just whipping it up and protecting you and kind of watching over you. So for some of you, that's a small message, uh, but the divine guidance, I feel like you guys are already in tune with the spirituality part of things. Um, So you guys, I feel like are, are maybe a little bit more restricting of yourself and of your diets. Maybe you guys eat healthy. You really monitor what you take in. Uh how you run your body, keeping things hydrated and lubricated, I don't know, but yeah, with that desire card out here too. Um, maybe you guys are very fluid, very self-expressive about yourself, your sexuality, your wants, and your needs. So I feel like just with being in tune with your spirituality and who you are as a soul in this lifetime really allows you to honor honor yourself. I feel like maybe your your past family members just didn't quite have the confidence or maybe they just didn't quite accept themselves or they they always wanted I feel like they always wanted more for themselves, but I feel like they kind of limited themselves or they cut themselves short. Hello everyone. If you chose collective number 4, you have the I guess I call it the cream jasper <laughs> hawk it's such a little cutie. Oh, I love those. Okay, so we're going to take a look at what kind of ancestral curses or what kind of lower vibrational family history, I guess, you guys have in your current lineage. And what you can really do to advance from these energies and to clear them out and break the ties, break the chains. All right. So, you know the spiel, all the goodies are in my description box as far as my New Year's sale for personal readings. So go ahead and check that out for the 2020 yearly review and taking a look into what 2021 might bring you. It's going to be really, really going to want to head up, heads up for this next year because um, y'all saw how 2020 went. So yeah, all of that stuff's down there. Don't forget to leave a like or comment if you feel like any part of this reading is resonating with you. I love to read them. And also, if you subscribe, you can vote on what I post next, just like this one was top voted. So let's deliver collective number four. What kind of family patterns are you meant to break? We have number 39, safe home. I cast this circle around about. Safety now is beyond doubt. This is a new deck, an actual spell deck that has all the instructions for each card as far as what kind of spells you can cast. So I really recommend this deck. This compounds down to a three. Sorry, I had to do the math. <laughs> um, so 39 adds up to 12, breaks down to three. So the safe home, I feel like, hmm, this is something that's, you know, Celtics are quite known for their family tree and their family lineage as far as being in touch with the, their ancestors and whatnot. So this is something that I feel like we're about to look into something that's been going around and around and around through several different generations and lifetimes. That's definitely been something pertaining to the home. And we also have... <laughs> 
that we had a shield. We also have oh, we have rebel challenges authority to affect social change, rejects spiritual systems to rejects spiritual systems that do not serve inner needs. Um so the light attributes would be like of course they stand up against social change. So for some of you guys, um, you could be quite a rebel in your family or a black sheep or have viewpoints that challenge your family. I would definitely recommend pile number three before you if you didn't, if you were drawn to both, the, both of them. We also have reject spiritual systems that do not serve their inner needs. So maybe your family is of one religion and a lot of them follow the same social structure maybe it just didn't fit for you and your personal needs and you just found your own own path and that could be very challenging it could be very upsetting we also have gemini as well a lot of duality this is not sign specific but gemini libra aquarius are the air signs The Gemini, I mean, there's also a duality to here. So I feel like there's always two sides to a perspective. And I feel like that's where you could quite rebel. You could be quite inquisitive or <laughs> you could have a counter perspective from your typical family line. We also have the three of pentacles. So for some of you, I'm, as I'm getting um, a lot of... The family lineage, maybe for some of you, I feel like it's it, there's so much green out here. But I feel like it's almost even the rebel. I mean, he's literally up in the tree branch on like a couch. That seems pretty homeless to me. Not to say that your family was homeless or anything, but maybe you just didn't come from much. And also with the safe home being... That first card, I mean, really securing that safe, funded family, home life. Maybe that's kind of why your family members, maybe they were just drawn into more rebellious or unsafe environments. Gemini also being an air sign. There could be substance abuse as well as far as like inhalants. It's an air sign, okay? So smoke, stuff like that. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, there's a lot of green out here, so I don't... I mean, there's safe substances, but there's also unsafe environments. We also have the three of pentacles out here, the growth. We have mushrooms. Okay, so there's a lot of substance going on here. Uh, a lot of um, drugs, but I feel like the drugs are... Part of the light attributes of this rebel because it rejects spiritual systems that do not serve inner needs and i feel like your family just might be open to tapping into those energies now i'm gonna try to see how how this has been hindered or like as a curse because it seems like your family energies i mean maybe in the past they weren't able to fully ground this rebel energy because the shadow attributes rejects legitimate authority out of anger rebels out of peer pressure or fashion so there could actually be some authority or like money legal power struggles so for some of you i feel like your family members maybe grew up in not so stable households where there could have been could have been really difficult dynamics with <laughs> Okay, I'm getting for some of you, like, the 70s, you know, like, the hippie kind of time of an era where... <laughs> so weird. Okay. Where maybe their, their home life, your parents' home life wasn't very stable, or maybe your grandparents' home life wasn't very stable, and they were kind of rebellious. Maybe they, they started to even reject legitimate authority out of anger. And the Gemini, I feel like... It's the, all about duality. And I feel like sometimes we can get stuck at one end of the spectrum or trying to find that balance between both sides. We also, with the three of pentacles, three is a number of challenge, a number of conflict. But also, I feel like, I mean, obviously it's growth. But again, there's like no grounding. There's no true base or true 
foundation that this rebellious energy was coming from. I feel like they were just mad. They didn't really have any good excuse at the end of the day. And I feel like they just wanted... I feel like for some of them, they just wanted to be like recognized, of course, or they just wanted to be seen or heard. And I mean, that makes a lot of sense too with Gemini out here. I feel like Geminis are really, they really love the spotlight. Don't we all though? And out here we have the Three of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Three of Cups, another three. We have the Three of Pentacles, Three of Cups. So, <clears throat> I feel like this one just keeps tying into that financial situation. I feel like some of your family members were maybe really not good with their money. We're really not good at balancing and managing their money. And that could have caused, you know, not to have a stable home or house life. Or to provide for their family the way that they saw fit. The Three of Cups and also the Queen of Pentacles played into, you know, feeling emotionally fulfilled, emotionally recognized. Sorry, this deck is so dark you probably can't even see this new deck um, but we also have the queen of pentacles which is someone who is very deeply valued she's the queen she's very humble very grounded and i feel like this is primarily the masculine energy on your side of the family i feel like is very much so playing a power struggle dynamic as far as rebelling against the feminine energies there could be conflict between a male and female within your family or like the mother son relationships or brother sister kind of relationships i don't know they're like opposite sexes or whatever energy you primarily find yourself as versus the opposite that may be in your family it's really quite odd to explain i feel like the divine masculine and feminine energies within this family lineage are trying to meet each other at their level but the masculine is kind of trying to dominate and domineer so what you can do to improve or break these family chains i feel like again with this safe home and the rebel energy as far as you know kind of relating to what you might have experienced throughout this family you guys could have gemini's in in your family you could have air signs but with gemini i feel like that's also your siblings with the three of pentacles that growth card there could have been a lot of competition growing up in your household i feel like a lot of you might look like your siblings but you're just a completely different person than them in the three of cups it's almost like maybe your parents were a rebel you know, and, like, hard for their parents to take care of. And they're like, oh, your kid's going to grow up to be twice as bad as you. And, like, you might have grown up to be three times as bad. <laughs> but it's almost like they never even saw it coming, too. But they always kind of knew, to be quite honest. Some of you guys could definitely be, like, <laughs> hippie warriors, vegans. I don't know. There's a lot of green going out here. So I feel like if you take these you know, lower vibrational energies in your family and you start to live throughout your own lifetime, hopefully you can, you know, harness those to your own best ability. So what you can do to help with this family chain, we have number 44, new beginnings. Let this magic in my spell clear the space in which I dwell. Um, this card talks about... <laughs> This, I got this card mixed up with the last card in the other pile. This card actually talks about cleaning. And oh, that's so weird. We also have here, tap your resources. So like I said, I, I totally read off the wrong card in the last reading. But this new beginnings and we have tap your resources here. There is definitely a parental energy that is present. For some of you, I am getting like a grandmother or someone who is very clean, very tidy. Someone who, I, I feel like for some of you guys, they were like religious. Now they might not have been the same viewpoints that you were at. Or, you know, they might have labeled their beliefs differently than you. But it was such a pure place, a pure perspective. I feel like for some of you, this person has actually even passed. So I feel like there's a lot of strong messages coming through some of these piles. 
talking about ancestors. I've had a lot of contacts. <laughs> so also we have out here gold, divine intervention. God sends miracles to answer sincere prayers. For some of you, I feel like um, there could be, again, substance abuse or, like, dependency upon that. With Gemini out here, we've had a lot of air sign and water sign throughout this whole reading. Um, each pile, by the way. So, and I feel like a lot of you too, though, you might... I feel like you're aware of this, and you guys actually might venture out even, even out into, like, philocybins or taking hallucinogens to to tap into those parts of yourselves and I encourage that in a safe and stable environment a controlled environment as well micro dosing but anyways what this new beginnings is very blue I mean you cannot tell me that's not a divine divine gift along with gold so it seems like you guys have already done really well I feel like with this family curse or this lower vibrate vibrational family energy a lot of you guys could be people who are very active in your life who do a lot with this tap your resources burdock talks about really finding your inner fire and working from your core as well as gold yellow is that solar chakra but gold also represents you know refined god energy and with the 44 new blessings, I mean, that's straight from spirit itself. I feel like you guys are on the right path. You guys might be a little bit of a rebellious fighter type yourself. Maybe you fight for the underdog as well. And if there has been competition within your family as well, I feel like this is something that you were able to really kind of grow out of that perspective. I feel like as you guys have aged, you've really come to understand more of maybe the family habits or maybe what have had transpired in your household growing up now that you've got a little bit more perspective on it i feel like you guys have really really come to appreciate and hope hopefully forgive and continue to love those who are in your life maybe your past family members you know maybe they worked they struggled i feel like they did struggle with forgiveness Again, I feel like they could have had conflict within their siblings or within their family members or parent members. It could have been hard for them to ever reach a point where they could forgive this other person, a place of forgiveness. Also, um, maybe they were just not that good at also managing finances. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, I feel like that's not really a problem that you have. Maybe it's not something that you've ever really quite noticed either. Um, I feel like you've always, maybe you guys live a very modest life too is what I'm getting. Alright, I feel like that's really all I am getting for you guys pile number four this was just a short and sweet reading of course if you do want an ultimate in-depth reading all about you just for you let me know i do personalized readings and i do have a sale right now for the new years of 2020 2021 taking a look at what the year has taught us and what we can look forward to next year because we really would have appreciated a heads up last year so go ahead and snag one of those let me know and other than that thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time